action. Okay. Hi, I'm Daryl Gray, and I have a company. We do furniture delivery. It's called Good Attitudes Furniture Delivery at tenfoottruck.com. And I do mainly heavy furniture deliveries for stores and uh, some moving. I just wanted to show people that's something I learned when I first got into the business of moving, which is real simple. Instead of having to buy a strap, you get a uh, nylon rope from a hardware store. Just, you know, it's really good solid nylon rope. And this is the best way to tie down any kind of furniture item. And, and I call it the trucker knot, and I'll show you how it works. So you just get a, kind of cut a decent sized piece of rope, say you know, about five or six feet. And I'm just gonna tie down this dolly, but this can be used for uh, any kind of furniture tie downs, glass or uh, dresser, couches. So I'll just strap it right here. And if you want to come closer, I'll show you. These are the uh, side rails for the truck, and this is where you're going to tie your rope. And you can tie it anywhere. Usually I try to get right behind the screw part, so it gives it a good hold. But I would tie it right here if I want. And I just do a basic, easy, easy, you know, tennis shoe knot where you're tying this and you're getting a full knot like that. And it holds it. And I'll just strap around the item, if it's a furniture or whatever item you're tying to the truck. So it'll go around. You know, try to keep it as close so it's going to hold it tight and uh, just put it through the rail and uh, pull it tight so it's not moving too much and you got it like this with one hand see this one hand here is holding it now this hand here you might have to get a closer look at this this is where it gets tricky you're going to pull back this right here hold this finger here your index and this one here and then you're going to pull it around like these two fingers and then you're going to grab it so this part of the rope comes underneath right here and then you do a real quick hook where you're making a loop so you're making like a, a little loop for where your other rope's going to go and you want it a good distance because you're going to have to strap it down so when you put the other rope through the loop like this that's where you can use it as a tensioner if you call this the trucker knot and you can take go as tight as you want you know, if it's glass, you don't want to go too tight, but other furniture that's heavy, you want to go tight. Sometimes you have to do two or three not two or three of these. And then you grab, now here's where you got to get real close with the camera. See how it's going through the loop here? And now I'm getting a real tension, tight tension on the rope. Now I have to hold this, so I keep the tension. In order to keep the tension, you're holding this tight. See how I'm holding it tight? And now you're going through again, just like the other one. You put your finger, put this part of the rope through, make another knot. It comes through like that. Now you got to do it real quick, put them like that. Now it's tight to you, it holds. You can do that anywhere, and you got, if I wanted to, I could double knot it here, have another one, and this will hold, and the heavier the item, of course, you're gonna to wanna to use both, both rails to get that uh, tension, to keep it tight on there. And the rope lasts quite a bit of time. I usually buy like a roll of, roll of uh, 100 foot rope, uh, for fairly cheap, like five or six bucks. Now here's how you pull it out. Now that it's tied like that, when you come to the move, the end of the move, you're getting the item out, you just boom, pop it out, it comes out. You don't have to do any untying. And there you go, and that's called the trucker knot. If you have any questions, you can you can uh, put it down on the, uh, at the end of the uh, YouTube video. I'll have my uh, website up there, 10foottruck.com, and it's also, I have a good attitudes delivery, uh, which is furniture delivery, and uh, whatnot. So, that's it, thank you.